Fantastic. Thanks, Shelby. So I'm John Carlisle, board chair for uh, Craft Lake City, and I also teach photography at a high school, Granger High School. And let's see here. So I've got some, got some photos. So we're very excited about the festival coming up. And I'm just using window light. I mean, if I'm not using any of the expensive gear, a nice window, a little bit of a 30 degree angle, and you're gonna get a nice photo. Um, if you throw in some props to help tell the story, that might work for you. It might not, depends on what you're shooting. Um, yeah, throw in some props, throw in a bounce to bounce a little bit of light on the opposite side of the object. Lovely, that's that tiny video. Um, let's see, I will show you the video, why not? Here it is. You'll see that the side of the left side of the camera gets darker and brighter as I bring that card in. Mm, compelling footage. All right, so let's see back here to, so this is the window and we're seeing this, right? Okay, and then this is with the fill. No fill, fill. All right, sorry about that. When you turn the lights on overhead, you get this yellow cast, depending on what kind of bulbs you have. You can see a hard shadow underneath the lens and it just doesn't look as good as the fill with the softer shadows. That big window, lots of lights, lovely. Throw on that overhead light, kind of kills it. So something to consider. And if you shoot outside, maybe shoot in the shade, no problem. Watch out for your background. If you can shoot without distractions, it'll look a little better. Um, say you're shooting in your shop and you wanna have some of that context, where these products happened, where did you build this? If you blur out the background, you can focus on the object a little more. So here in iPhone's portrait mode, at, it does like a 2X zoom and it blurs out the background and it's going to make it look a little better, a little more emphasis on your product. But notice that elastic on the edge of the mask you can see it gets a little blurry across the, I guess this ceramic mug in the background, you can see that it's accidentally blurred. So if you want to blur and you want it perfect, you might want to just use a regular camera because it's going to use optics instead of software to get that depth of field blur. So that's one advantage the camera has. Here's another example. I'm going to blur this out. So I use iPhones portrait mode, and you can see the elastic gets caught up in the background, which is unfortunate. Um, maybe a timer and a tripod. I think I've got a link to this in that Dropbox. There's a link to images. You can link to this uh, tripod with the cell phone clamp. It's like 35 bucks, but it's really gonna make your photos easy to shoot. You'll get the same positioning, same angle on all your products, fire off the photos, and use the self timer. You'll get a nice effect. It, it will it'll be more sharp, beautiful photos. Um, when I shot these on a blue background, I really felt like it distracted from the, from the art. Ben Gall's ceramics here, I feel like even with the fill, they look better on some white. You know, you get a piece of white poster board, it just looks a little better. So this is no fill. Now I bring in that bounce card to wake up the other side of the object. Uh, same thing, bam, easy as that, right? Three, two, one, you've got your photos, no problem. 89 cents for a piece of poster board, get a little bit of card, uh, what is that? Foam core, boom, ready to go. Um, I shot this mask, I think it's uh, Leah Arrocho, and shot it against green. I think the green, even with Phil, I really wanna just shoot it on the, on the white. So here's my window, you get to look through my horrible window. I've just kind of got this low budget, easy to set up photo shoot going in there, but you get some great photos. And even against the dark background, looks pretty good. So some black poster board, white poster board, a little bit of fill light on the left side, lovely. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of, that's the, that's the tiny studio, hilarious. And like I say, if, if you can't figure it out, just go to YouTube University. They've got plenty of ideas, lots of product photography, photography tutorials geared toward what you are gonna shoot. So if you want a jewelry tutorial, they're gonna have bunches of them. No problem. So that's where we're at. If you're shooting band photos, the window light is great. If you're shooting food photos, it's nice to have the window behind the food. But other than that, it should be good. Back to Shelby.